We do have Savannah Louie in the First Alert Breaking News Desk, and I know Savannah has been talking with uh, the Atlanta Fire Department to figure out what is going on. But uh, Savannah, we do know for sure this is a, an abandoned apartment building on Joseph E. Boone Boulevard, and there are pockets of this fire that are beginning to spread. Yeah, hey guys, uh, Sean and Blair, we're also learning a little bit more about where this is exactly located here. Uh, again, Sean, like you said, this is Joseph E. Boone Boulevard, also Mason Turner Road here. This is in East Atlanta, and those are the cross streets there. As we look at firefighters working to put out those flames on what we believe is an abandoned apartment building. Uh, and Patrick, like you mentioned earlier, this fire spreading extremely quickly. Right now, I've counted so far, I believe we have four different fire trucks on that scene approaching this fire from several different angles here. We're going to put those flames out, but what we've seen over the last 10 minutes or so is that fire again spreading very, very quickly even to uh, areas not necessarily attached to that building. If you looked uh, and saw at the left hand side of your screen there, you can see some flames uh, that separate firefighters are working to put out. Um, also along this area, and again, this is at Mason Turner Road and Joseph E. Boone Boulevard in East East Atlanta. We did see part of that road, that stretch of road, blocked off with yellow caution tape. So if this is anywhere near your evening commute, if you're driving along this way, if you are able to see these uh, flames and the smoke maybe from your drive, just be aware that a big part of this area is going to be closed to traffic. Maybe these flames do not impact you directly, but you might be uh, partially impacted by what we're seeing going on here. And again, this is in East Atlanta. If we take another look here uh, from the sky here, that that apartment building what we appear to what we believe to be abandoned uh, is right next to another subset of buildings on the right hand side of your screen there. You can barely see it in that video, but we're currently unsure uh, who those inhabitants of that additional building may be. Atlanta News First working to learn more information about that. But again, I mean, this is really an overarching view here as uh, we are now seeing those crews work on some of the flames uh, towards the side of the building and then also those flames that are not necessarily attached to that building. Uh, the fire again spreading very, very quickly. This again, just over 10 minutes of when we first arrived on that scene here from the Atlanta News First first alert chopper. Those fire crews working from all angles to try to put out fires on uh, a couple of different structures here. And, and again, over the past, uh, what it's probably about 12 minutes now. We've seen even part of that roof cave in on that apartment building along with part of the, the, the upper level there also uh, drop in. And initially when we came to this scene, that fire was primarily on that one single building, that one uh, structure at the top of your screen there in that video. It has since spread to that additional building right there, almost engulfing that second separate um, structure, if you will. And again, from here, you can see, you can really grasp the number of crews who are at work. You see two of those fire trucks, um, one of them high in the sky. And this is uh, actually in northwest Atlanta is what we're being told here um, from the Atlanta News First crew. Uh, this fire going on, ongoing right now here. Um, a number of crews hard at work. We're going to continue to monitor this situation. And if, again, this is in your area where you might be driving this evening or if you live nearby, you see some of these flames and the smoke rising high up in the air. This is something that you're going to see for miles. So even if um, you're not directly in this area, you are going to uh, definitely be able to notice it from pretty far out here from what we're seeing and from what fire coverage we've experienced in the past. This is something that um, even if you're not in one of these direct apartments or down the street, down the block, you're going to notice this for miles. Mm. So just be aware that your evening commute um, or any other plans you might have around this area may be disrupted. Um, at Letter News First, pushing for answers. We have reached out to local fire departments to try to figure out what may have started this fire. Still no word on what may have been the cause who else might be directly impacted. Um, and we're going to continue to monitor this situation from the Atlanta News First, first alert breaking news desk. Uh, if, take a look at the right-hand side of your screen there. You can see those additional crews who appear to be in uh, an apartment, uh, a secondary apartment structure that may be occupied. You see a number of what appears to be maybe residential cars, um, other folks who might not be affiliated with this apartment building that is currently on fire. But again, crews working from all different angles here to try to put this thing 
something out. Um, Sean, Blair, I'm going to continue to push for more answers from authorities into what tactics they're using um, in addition to what may have started this and then also learn a little bit more about folks who may be impacted, um, what solutions might be out there for them. Uh, but for now, I'll send it back to you guys in studio there. Savannah, thank you. And we